speak up, to stand up, to show up, and never shut up until all of our brothers and sisters can rise from the shackles of oppression, depression, suppression, and the real violence of poverty. have to always stay resolute in this freedom struggle because it's from generation to generation to generation and every generation is called to it and has to address it. He would just continue to encourage us to follow the blueprint that he laid out for us in his book, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos of Communities. We have got to have a revolution of values. We got to quickly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a person-centered society. And we got to expand our loyalties. We got to understand we can't just fight for our particular interests. We have to fight for that which impacts all of us holistically. That's why I don't like the word ally, because ally suggests that I'm coming to help you with your problem versus we are connected by humanity. You are my brother and sister regardless of how you look, what your background is, what your identification is, your gender, your sexual orientation, your religion, your race, your ethnicity, anything you can say. We are still a part of an interconnected human family. And these things that are happening are happening to us. It's not your problem, it's our problem. feel over time that militarism, racism, and poverty has evolved in this movement space? Well, I think more and more people um, since my father's assassinated have come to understand the interconnected and interrelatedness of it, which means that you can better address the root of all of these, what my father called triple evils. Really, when you strip it all away to me, I define everything as a lack of true love for humanity. Because when you have a love for humanity, you don't want to destroy lives. You don't want to harm lives. You're very thoughtful about what you're doing in whatever area of influence. If your area is policy, you're very thoughtful about how that policy impacts people holistically. We've seen, right, over these past few months especially, a lot of the progress that we've made in the civil rights space being pushed back. And so what is your message to people right now? And what, I guess, does this say about the moment that we're in? It's very important to understand something my mother said. She said, struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it in every generation. I think sometimes we can get caught up in, on victories and not realize that the struggle continues. We've got to raise a generation of kids who have what I call a nonviolent mindset. So the work that we do at the King Center is really training uh, individuals of my father's philosophy, way of thinking, um, and the, the um, strategies that they develop to address systemic problems such as poverty, racism, and, and militarism. And the more people who embrace that, which is a love-centered way of engaging, speaking, thinking, and acting, that leads to that personal, uh, cultural, and, and societal transformation, I think we will begin to see, maybe not the total elimination, but we will see a diminishing of the impact of these, these evils. Mm -hmm.